is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I now yield uh, one minute to the distinguished gentleman from Nevada, Mr. Horsford. Gentleman from Nevada is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, today, June 24, 2022, marks 30 years to the day that my father was shot and killed by senseless gun violence. So I stand here emotional as I prepare to cast a vote in favor of the bipartisan Safer Communities Act, historic legislation that will reduce crime and break the cycle of violence that so many people throughout our country have unfortunately experienced. One of the most important provisions in this bill is $2 billion in funding for anti-violence programs, including $250 million for community violence intervention from my Break the Cycle of Violence legislation. Every day, 110 Americans are killed with guns and over 200 are shot and wounded. Amid the global pandemic, homicides by gun increased 35%. Today, gun violence remains the leading cause of premature death for black men, as well as the number two cause of premature death for Latino men and black women. Gentlemen's time's expired. Gentleman from New York. Mrs. Mr. Speaker, I grant uh, the gentleman an additional 30 seconds. Gentleman's recognized for 30 seconds. Thank you. So today, I am casting my vote for my father, the 58 victims that lost their lives during the one October shooting in Las Vegas, Sean Jerion Coleman, a constituent, a Las Vegas youth leader, and so many other Americans who are victims and survivors of gun violence. I urge this body to pass bipartisan Safer Communities Act. I yield back. Gentleman yields back.